Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is a short video to show you how do you configure the Hermes DDC to work with the Terminator Plus DAC. So it, it applies to Gaia DDC as well, but I, what I have here is the Hermes DDC. So there are two aspects here that you need to focus in. is the i 2 pinout configuration as well as the clock synchronization configuration. So if you use i 2 and clock synchronization, this video might be of interest to you. Or rather, this video is mandatory for you. So we know that i 2 pinout has to be configured correctly for both PCM and BSD playback correctly. Otherwise, mismatch of uh, i 2 pinout will generate loud noise and the loud noise may damage the loudspeaker. So for i 2 pinout configuration, my suggestion is always turn down the volume to minimal but audible before you configure or use the i 2 uh, for the, of your system. Right, I have the Hermes DDC connected to the Rune Core and the Hermes DDC is connected using i 2 cable to the Terminator Plus and I already have the clock synchronization cable from the Terminator Plus to the Hermes DDC. Both devices are configured correctly to playback PCM and DSD for both left fry channel as well as in phase and out of phase. Right, so how do you configure the i 2 pinout of the DDC? Hit on the setup button once and toggle the coaxial button multiple times. As you toggle this LED, or as you toggle this button, 48K, 49K, and 192K turn on and off in a fashion of 000 to 111. My suggestion is to leave this setting to mode 0 where 48K, 96K, and 192K are off. Off, off, off. This is mode 0. So once the setting is confirmed, hit on the setup button once to confirm the setting. So the i 2 spinout setting will be stored in the FPGA and the next time you power it up, you will be using the same setting. So once this is configured correctly, the next thing to do is to configure the Terminator Plus DAC i 2 pinout. So how do we do this? Hit on the mute button once. As the mute engage, the music stops playing and hit on the face button multiple times. As you hit on the face button multiple times, 1x, 2x and 4x LED turn on and off. Leave the setting at mode 0 where 1x, 2x and 4x LED are off. So in theory, mode 0 on the DDC and mode 0 on the DAC should match. But some of, some of the i 2 cable or HDMI cable on the market we ever experience and our customer as feedback as well doesn't work for this mode 0 and mode 0. So my suggestion is really leave the DDC's i 2 pinout to mode 0 and run through a series of settings on the term on the DAC to find one of the mode that can play back PCM and DSD correctly. So I have this test tone playing repeat on the on the background where you can hear the DSD uh, where you can hear the left right channel playback as well as the in phase and out of phase playback are done correctly. So this is the i 2 setting. For the clock synchronization, you notice that the clock LED is on here. So the Hermes DDC is expecting to have external clock connection from the Terminator Plus to the Hermes DDC. So how do we configure the clock output of the Terminator Plus to, to synchronize with the Hermes DDC? It's by hitting the mute button. As the mute engage, the LED turn on and off from the left to the right. At this point in time, hit on the input minus button. As you can see, the couple of LED will light up on and off in, the, in from the left to the right. And in one of the modes, the clock out LED turn off. So this essentially turn off the clock output of the Terminator Plus, but this is not what we want. We want the Terminator Plus DAC to output 45 MHz and 49 MHz to synchronize with the Hermes DDC or the Gaia DC DC or the Iris DDC. So leave the LED on at OPT. So at this OPT LED on, the DAC will output 45 MHz and 49 MHz to, to synchronize with the clock input requirement of the DDC. After a couple of seconds later, the DAC will be back to operation mode where the i 2 A input selected and we will see 44.1 and 1x LED turn on. So it is back in operation mode. So it's a short video and thank you so much. Bye bye.